In video P3A, we characterized an RC network by determining its time constant. In this video, we will use the same circuit, with the signal generator and probes connected in exactly the same way. However, instead of a square wave, we will use a sinusoidal input signal to measure the phase difference between the voltage across the capacitor and the current through it. Although we do not have a current probe to measure the current directly, we can measure a waveform that shares the same phase as the current through the capacitor. This waveform is the voltage across the resistor, VA minus VB. This is because, for a resistor, the voltage and current are always in phase and, since this is a single loop circuit, the current through the capacitor is the same as the current through the resistor. Consequently, the phase of the current through the capacitor is identical to the phase of the voltage across the resistor. Therefore, we can measure the phase difference between the voltage across the capacitor and the voltage across the resistor, to determine the phase difference between the voltage across the capacitor and the current through it. It's important to note however, that an oscilloscope doesn't function like a multimeter when it comes to probe connections. You cannot simply place the probe tip at point A, and the ground clip at point B, to directly measure, VA minus VB. Instead, you must measure the voltages at points A and B, relative to the same ground reference, and then calculate the difference between them. For this experiment, the probe connections remain the same as they were for the time constant measurement. To display the voltage across the resistor we simply need to set up a math channel. To do this, we simply click on math channels, select AE minus B and then also change the vertical scale to make the waveform clearer. Once we have the voltage across the capacitor displayed, which is the red waveform from channel B, and the voltage across the resistor which is the purple waveform from the math channel, we can measure the phase difference between them in two ways. We can do this manually. To do so, place time rulers at the points where each waveform crosses the time axis, with a positive going slope. Record the time difference between the two timestamps, and then convert the measured time delay into an angle. Alternatively, we can use the built-in phase measurement feature. We set source 1 to channel B, and source 2 to the math channel. This provides the phase difference between capacitor's voltage and current waveforms, which should be minus 90 degrees, since the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees in a capacitor. To ensure that the measurement displays both negative and positive phase shifts, we must select the plus minus 180 degrees option in the output range settings. The measured value is indeed close to the expected minus 90 degrees. However, noise on both waveforms, amplified further in the math channel, limits the accuracy of the measurement. Currently, the medium-sized measurement is selected, which provides additional statistics. However, we can switch to the large-size measurement for a more easily visible value.